Hey guys, I'm finally doing my MAC dupe brush video and I'm sorry it took me this long but honestly at the time that a lot of people requested it I couldn't do it since I only own MAC brushes so I discovered Lexi Beauty on Instagram I started purchasing their eye brushes and now that I've been using them for several times I could honestly recommend them some brushes were sent to me but most of them I purchased myself and I have a total of 11 eye brushes that I will be comparing to some of my MAC brushes that I own right now. This is a 213 eye shading brush by Luxie. This type of brush I would use for packing on color on the lid or even apply a brow bone highlight. I'm comparing it to the MAC 239. The MAC 239 is natural fibers. I believe it's made out of goat hair. And Luxie, of course, it's synthetic since they are a cruelty-free company. And the difference is that MAC is $25, Luxie is $12. So this is the 205 Taper Blending Brush. And I'm comparing this one to the MAC 224. The 224 is natural fibers. I love using this type of brush to apply the transition color or to just blend out any harsh edges. I love my MAC 224, but I hate that if you don't wash it correctly, it gets scratchy and it hurts your eye when you're blending. The MAC retails for $32 and the Lexi retails for $12. This is the 223 Short Shader Brush. It's similar to the 213, but a short version of it. And I'm going to compare it to the 214 brush by MAC. MAC is natural fibers. I would use this brush for smudging color under the lower lash line or smudging eyeliner. This one the same as the MAC 224. If you don't wash it correctly, it does get scratchy. For that reason, I hardly use this brush. MAC is $25 and Luxie is $12. This is a 221 flat definer brush and I'm going to compare this to the MAC 212. Both of them are synthetic. And I like using this brush to apply color under my lower lash line. Some people even use this to apply concealer under their brow to clean it up after they fill it in. But I like using this to apply color under my lower lash line or smudge eyeliner. This one retails for $24 and the Lexi retails for $12. This is the 201 Brow and Lash Spoolie. And I'm comparing it to the MAC 204. They're identical, they both work the same. I like using this type of spoolie to comb out my brow hairs before applying any product and also blending in the product once I fill them in. I don't have a price for the Luxie spoolie since you can't buy it individual as of now, but I know pretty soon you will be able to buy it. I'm sure it won't be no more than $12. This is the Luxie 217 pencil brush. And I'm comparing it to the MAC 219 pencil brush, which is goat hair, natural fibers, and of course the Lexi is synthetic. I like using this type of brush for smudging color under my lower lash line for detail work on the crease or even for highlighting my tear duct. The MAC retails for $25 and Lexi retails for $10. This is the 219 eyeliner brush, and I'm comparing it to the MAC 210. I would compare the 219 eyeliner brush to the 209 instead of the 210 brush by MAC, but I don't have that brush since the 209 is more thicker than the 210, but they work just as well. I thought my eyeliner was not going to be so thin and precise with this thicker brush, but it actually did work as long as when I dip it into the gel liner and I squeeze the tip of the brush, it actually makes it a really thin line. And the MAC retails for $20 and the Lexi retails for $10. This is the 215 small angle eye brush and I'm comparing it to the MAC 208. I like using this brush to fill in my brows. Some people use these type of brushes to do gel liner. I myself don't like it. I have a hard time using it for that. So I like using it, like I said, for filling in my brows. The 208 is a tiny bit smaller than the Lexi one. And the MAC retails for $20, the Lexi retails for $10. Next is the 209 Large Shader Brush, and I'm comparing it to the MAC 252. 
I believe the 252 is natural fibers. I wouldn't know what animal they get this fiber from. But the MAC one is wider. It's a different shape. But they're both large shader brushes. I would use this type of brush to pack on color on my lid. And basically that's it. The MAC retails for $32 and the Lexi for $12. This is a 229 taper blending brush. It's not an exact dupe to the MAC 217, but I like using this brush to apply color and blend it as I'm applying it. That's what I use the 217 for, or also blending any harsh edges. The MAC 217 has a flat um, side to it, which the 229 Luxie doesn't. It's more of a rounded shape. The MAC 217 retails for 24 and the Lexi retails for 12 Okay, so the last brush is the 211 and it's the concealer brush. I'm going to compare it to the MAC 249. They're both synthetic. The only difference is that the MAC is wider. I love using this brush to clean out my bottom part of my brow once I fill it in. I apply concealer under my brow and use this brush to clean it out. And the MAC is no longer available. This one's discontinued and it used to retail for $32. And the Lexi retails for $12. I now have a 20% off discount code that you guys could use every time you guys buy any Lexi item on their website. I'll link all that information on the description box. And I really hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys very soon on my next video. Bye guys.